So YouTube team, keep it all the way clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And officially, the former Baltimore Raven, former Kansas City Chief, Super Bowl champion, by the way, former Buffalo Bill, first round draft pick, by the way, Sammy Watkins is signing a one-year deal with the Green Bay Packers worth up to $4 million. Not sure what the base of the deal is, but either way, good for Sammy. Shout out to Sammy Watkins. Now, um... I, uh, I remember, as a Ravens fan, I remember last year when we signed Sammy Watkins, when the Ravens signed Sammy Watkins, to a one-year deal worth up to $6 million uh, with $5 million guaranteed. Um, I remember the comment section. I'll never forget it. Comment section of the video. So many Chiefs fans came through. A lot of Bills fans came through as well. And they said, ooh, Sammy with the hammy. Sammy with the hammy. Sammy with the hammy. And I'm like, ooh, okay. I know about his injury history, but oh, okay. And then, then a lot of other fans, oh, six games, Sammy. That's all you're going to get from six games, six games. And I was like, oh, okay. I know his uh, track record as far as playing a full season. It's not the best, but hopefully this year will be different. And, but my biggest concern, and hopefully the Packers, and I'm sure they will, but hopefully the Packers will take the same approach. Um, but my biggest concern when the Ravens signed Sammy Watkins, I said that cannot be it. They cannot put all their eggs into Sammy Watkins' basket. Because if you do that, you'll regret it. You'll regret it. And that's nothing against Sammy Watkins personally, of course, but just his injury history. You can't put all your eggs in that basket because if you rely on him to be your guy at wide receiver, it's more than likely going to backfire on you. So I'm sure the Packers, they got some backup plans. I'm sure the Packers have some draft plans in place to what they intend to do uh, at the wide receiver position. But with Sammy Watkins last year for the Ravens, started off nice. Remember week one against the Raiders, he made this beautiful, Lamar, made a, Lamar Jackson made a beautiful pass, Sammy Watkins caught it over his shoulder for a big game. Then week two against the Chiefs, I remember he slipped, and that ended up being a Lamar Jackson pick six. Uh, but then he made a clutch catch at the end of the game to, uh, to, to help the Ravens win. Uh, but then in week three, ooh, week three, it was fourth and 19. And I'm thinking, oh no, we're about to lose to the Lions, and we're going to have the same record. I know it's just three weeks, but we're going to have the same record as the Detroit Lions. Oh, that's so gross. Yuck. But nope, Sammy Watkins said, nope, not happening. Fourth and 19, he finds an opening in Lions zone defense, makes a catch. Lamar makes a beautiful throw. Sammy Watkins makes a beautiful catch on fourth and 19. First down. And then that led to the Justin Tucker 66-yard field goal. But then he had a couple more games, but then in the Colts game, Monday Night Football, Against the Indianapolis Colts. Oof. What a game that was. Beautiful comeback for the Baltimore Ravens. Lamar Jackson, maybe one of his best games ever. And it can be debated whether that's his best game ever or not, or if it's the 2019 week one against the Dolphins. Either way, we're not here to talk about that. But Sammy Watkins, he makes a catch and he takes a nasty hit to his head around his neck. And I'm thinking, oh man, that's probably gonna be a concussion, maybe a neck injury, some type of head injury, something. Something along those lines. Something above the shoulders. But then the Ravens, they, they announced that Sammy Watkins was questionable to return with a hamstring injury. And I'm thinking, what, how, how if you got hit up here, how does that go through down here? I just, I didn't get it. But then I realized, it, it took me back to the comment section before. Oh, that's what everybody was saying. This is what they, these fans were talking about. And that was the expectation. But still, we hope that it just, it wouldn't have went down. So hopefully, again, the Packers, they got to have a plan in place uh, other than Sammy Watkins. Now, it is a low-risk deal with a potential uh, high reward. Um, but, again, this can't be your end-all, be-all at wide receiver. And, again, I, I don't expect it to be uh, for the Packers. Now, Sammy Watkins, he did miss. I think he missed like maybe four or five games after that. Uh, but then when he came back, oof. Came back, and I remember he played against the Miami Dolphins. It was uh, one of our first games where we had a uh, starting quarterback, and we had all three of our starting receivers, Sammy Watkins, Rashad Bateman, and Hollywood Brown. Ooh, and, and we all know that how ugly that game was for the Ravens, but Sammy Watkins, oh, man. Sammy Watkins, uh, Lamar Jackson threw him a touchdown pass in the back of the end zone in the first quarter. I think it was on the first drive. Touchdown in the back of the end zone. Sammy Watkins, he just stops because he thought the goal post was right in front of him. And that one hurt, man. That one hurt bad. And then later on in the game, Lamar Jackson gave another opportunity because, you know, Dolphins kept sitting there, cover zero, cover zero, cover zero. We sending everybody. We sending everybody we play in, man. So they did that. 
And finally, the, the Ravens took advantage of it. They, they sent Sammy Watkins on a little slant. It's like, all right, let's go, Sammy. Okay, here we go, baby. He caught it. And then Xavier Howard tackled him, forced fumble. And then he, uh, th Xavier Howard forced the fumble and recovered the fumble and took it back for six. And took it back for six. So, Sammy Watkins, uh, well, that's what we knew. Well, at least me personally, that's what I knew. Like, oh, yeah, he, he ain't coming back this year. Because I keep saying so many Ravens fans, uh, when Sammy Watkins was visiting with the Packers early this morning, and then, of course, once it officially got announced that he signed with the Packers, I saw so many Ravens fans say, oh, okay, finally, yes, it's Rashad Bateman time. All right, oh, man, I'm happy for the guys on our team. The Ravens were never going to re-sign Sammy Watkins. I, I, I thought that that was obvious based off of last year. I did not think that there was a chance that the Ravens were signing Sammy Watkins. And I, I felt like everybody else knew that, too. But I think um, a lot of people may have thought in the back of their minds, like, oh, maybe the Ravens will try to bring him back. But no. So this makes it officially official. So we all happy for Sammy Watkins. Um, hopefully, again, the, the only thing you really got to worry about with Sammy Watkins uh, is, is health. That's it. Health, man. Health. And you, you hate it for players that have to face, that go through these injuries like that. You, you hate to see it, man. Because it takes away from the player, it takes away from their career. Even though he's a Super Bowl champion, he, he, hey, he got it. He's a Super Bowl champion. And in that Super Bowl run, he was making a lot of plays. Sammy Watkins was doing his thing. So he is a Super Bowl champion. So that, is, that will forever be his. Nobody can take that away from him. No matter how his career goes, no matter what happens from this point forward, you can never take away Sammy Watkins being a Super Bowl champion. But hopefully for his sake with the Packers, hopefully he can stay healthy. Um, but again, people been saying, people been hoping that since he was with the Bills. They were hoping that when he was on the Chiefs. We hoped that when he was on the Ravens. So if Packers are smart, um, then signing Sammy Watkins is cool, but they just got to make sure that this is not it. Love y'all team. Keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. Uh, and hopefully, like Sammy Watkins won't be when it comes to any games this year, I'm out.